this is an awesome night the moon is like beautiful what a way to just say hello october october A beanie. That means good morning in Navajo. It's still dark. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. Alright, I'm going to go grab my coffee. And welcome back to my channel at D Lovey Life, where life should be lovely no matter what happens. And hello, it is 2020. Day one of Blacktober. <laughs> it's fall, y'all. I have not done anything, nothing for fall yet of 2020. I haven't decorated, I haven't done anything why you're asking because i'm waiting for you guys to join me this year again with blacktober i had so much fun last year with you guys on 2019 if you're back for blacktober for 2020 thank you thank you thank you so much is going on for this month we got vlogtober we have halloween we have the month of i believe mental awareness the month of for indigenous native american which i am navajo dene proud i'm super excited to just welcome all of you who are new to my channel welcome a welcome so i was thinking that this year i'm just going to stay with the same type of program as I did on October of last year. I'm going to do some fall decorations. I'm not that big on like spitting out, you know, <laughs> making it all cray cray fall decorations, but I do like to put a little bit here and there just for you guys. It has been really crazy here in the Bay Area in California where I live. As you guys are probably aware, we've been having a lot of wildfires which brings a lot of smoke, um, hence the background. I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty orange out there and it smells pretty bad. We have a, unfortunately, another fire that just broke out a couple of days ago in our Napa in the winery and we're all like, save the grapes, save the grapes <laughs> in the wine country. It's been kind of weird and we've been having a lot of different type of weather lately too. It's more humid than normal. We don't really have humidity or heat in our area but it has been extremely humid in the 60 percent it's been about roughly about 90 yesterday and today so hence i'm going to be like really hot and plus i'm at that age you guys where yeah hot flashes that's like no joke seriously i'm like behind the scenes you guys i know youtuber problems <laughs> But I'm at that age, y'all. I'm at that age where it's like, man, all of a sudden I to do my hair and my makeup and then I'm like towards the end, I'm like trying to find a fan somewhere just to fan me down. It's crazy crazy. I'm super excited to do Vlogtober with you guys again. If you are doing a Vlogtober this year, let us know in the comments down below so we can go check out your channel because really sharing is caring. 
I hope you guys are all doing well in this whole 2020 quarantine. I haven't really been out. I miss thrifting. I miss Marshalls. Boy, do I miss Marshalls. I miss going to Ross. I miss going to Target. I miss all of those places. The only place that I get to go out to is either running to Home Depot because we're doing a lot of different house projects right now, attending to my garden. So therefore I go to our local garden nursery and I only go to like our grocery stores and CVS only because I'm a caregiver and I gotta get supplies. <laughs> and medication. Been trying to keep my mom inside. If we do go out, it's mainly we go out to take my mom, AKA Queen G, in the car for a car ride, and we take Jay to Costco while mom and I wait for him in the van. <laughs> It's like those type of things. Or we get, you know, we order takeout or thank goodness for DoorDash. But today I wanted to start off with you guys with a welcome, uh, pretty much the same kind of content that I have on my channel. I just kind of like to throw a little bit of fall your way and as we get closer to Halloween, hopefully I can bust out with my Halloween decor, which is not a whole lot. Too bad about the trick-or-treaters this year, We're not too sure exactly how that's going to go in our neighborhood, um, but I'm pretty much favoring um, not doing any of that um, this year just to be safe with my mom especially with my mom so um, I don't know we'll see um, you know there's just been a, a lot of changes and we're just gonna go with the flow on my channel sound good sound good I have almost reached 4,000 subscribers so when we do I want I'm planning to do a giveaway this month I also plan to do an open invite of a collab which I will explain a little bit later and I'm gonna be doing a little bit a couple of different little prizes here and there just to kind of you know I don't know shake things up get things going you know because I enjoy all of you I enjoy all your comments I love your support just everything about you guys is just awesome and I feel like it's my turn to give back to you guys a little bit. I know I share a lot of my journey as a caregiver and a, and a housewife and you know I'm learning as I'm going but most of all I'm hoping that I'm encouraging, I'm motivating some of you, that I inspire some of you and that I give hope to other caregivers and housewives. <laughs> Or just women or not even just women. I mean if you're if you're a man you know I mean I hope I encourage you somehow to just to be a better person and just to enjoy and be grateful for every day that you have on this crazy world. <laughs> I mean, if we're going to be honest, right? Anyway, so uh, let's get started. As a young girl, it feels were mine. We played hide and seek for hours. Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl Daydreamer, kidnap me Take me back, all the way back to the
Hey, okay, nice to sit down in this nice comfy chair. A lot of times kitties on this chair when I have a towel on there, oh my God. Hey, interesting fact, did you know that the crock pot was invented in 1940s? Isn't that crazy? By a man, who knew? And talking about the crock pot, I didn't know that like, I knew slow cooking. I Okay, first of all, hold back, rewind. When I was working full time, um, as soon as I got married, I didn't really cook. I didn't, I was not a person who cooked, you know, um, every single night or was like a homemaker or anything like that. I was more of a very career minded oriented person. I was always on the go, on the go, on the go, on the go. Worked very long, um, draining hours at work. It was very demanding and I just, I had no desire to be a stay at home wife or a mom at that at that time of my life. I just was not ready for that. So I was never really home to cook really. I didn't know what really a crock pot was or like a slow cooker. I mean, my mom used that of course when I used to live with her when I was younger, but I really never got introduced into how to cook in a, in a crock pot before. I mean, when we have like company potlucks and stuff like that, I remember seeing, you know, older women, they would bring in their crock pot and they would have like chili going in there or something really good. But I just never really tried any crock pot recipes until, until I started to stay home and being that housewife. And even when I was just beginning to be a housewife and a homemaker, I still didn't know how to make meals in a crock pot. I, to be honest, I had my crock pot gifted to us for, I believe it was my bridal shower and it remained in the box for over, I don't know, 10 years, maybe even 12 years. No, probably about 10 years when I finally realized that, oh my gosh, I had a crock pot or a slow cooker. What's the difference? And I had to look that up because I found a recipe in the library because I love finding new recipes. And in the library, it said slow cooker recipes. And then there was another book, it said crock pot recipes. And I'm like, okay, what is the difference? And I had to look that up and realizing that the crock pot is just the brand name. I didn't know that. Did you know that? I didn't know that. And so, um, okay, so I'm really showing my blonde moments here. And if there are young women watching this, it's okay not to know this stuff. <laughs> Because Lord knows, I I just, you know, wasn't interested. So it's kind of like, and I just saw it just now in Google when I was looking up, like, when was a crock pot invented? It was in the, it was in the 1940s. Crock pot is like Kleenex to tissues or like the brand name Band-Aid versus bandages. So crock pot, slow cooker, it's the same thing. It's just that the crock pot is a brand name, crock pot. Anyways, while I was home a lot, I had to call my mom and ask her, Mom, how do I make your pinto chili beans? As I love my mom's pinto chili beans with fry bread or fresh tortillas. Oh my God. So one day I was like, Mom, can you give me the recipe for the crock pot chili beans? And so I tried it and I just was like in love with the crock pot. I was like, why did I not cook with a crock pot earlier? And then I tried like making stew and I think the next thing that I tried making in the crock pot was um, pot roast. And I was just amazed on this YouTube um, video that I saw many, 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 many moons ago. And till this day, I still make that crock pot recipe. So I'm in love with my crock pot. And I guess why I'm bringing up the crock pot or slow cooker is because it's fall, y'all. And that is like the best time to start cooking in my in my mind. I love making stew. I love making my mom's um, pinto bean chili cream a mushroom chicken crock pot recipe. It's one of our favorites here. It's one of my mom's favorites. Just serve it over rice, something really simple and easy. Today, even though it's gonna hit 90s, I really didn't wanna cook later on a stove top or in the oven because hello, that will get the whole house really hot. Only now, Currently, most recently, I'm starting to really enjoy cooking for the first time. If I would 
talk to my co-workers <laughs> like you know 10 years ago and tell them what I'm doing right now they would probably start laughing I'd probably start laughing like yeah right but look at me now I mean I'm really enjoying cooking and using my crock pot my crock pot is like my favorite thing to go to my crock pot has become my favorite friend <laughs> I'll have to buy an, a darker uh, pen for that because October 1st didn't really show huh mom <laughs> on your mm -hmm. date board but today is the first day of October okay Woohoo! October October <laughs> can you imagine mom it's like almost the whole year is already almost over that's crazy if you had to describe so far, Mom, the year 2020, what would you say? Bad. Bad. <laughs> bad, bad. <laughs> well, we can only go, we can only do better for next year, right? 2021? Mm -hmm. Here you go, Mom. Another pill. First of all, I guess we have to vote. We have to vote. Yes, I agree. And your baby aspirin. Last one. Now you can relax. <laughs> You know, this is like gold. Isn't that sad? Have any of you guys tried making your own? Hey guys, I had to do an outfit change. Not because I feel like I'm a diva or anything. Got my hair up in a clip because it's starting to warm up and I need to put my caregiver hat on again and I need to give my mom a sponge bath so I didn't really want to wear the shirt that I had on before because I don't want it to get all messy or dirty so I went ahead real quickly just changed my shirt put my hair up but I'm super glad that I got the chance to actually curl my hair earlier today that should last for several days and I didn't realize that this video is becoming super long. I really want to try my darndest to make sure that these are not over 15 minutes. However, I think if I do my empties, that might be my laundry chit chat this month. It might go a little bit over the 15 minutes. So with that, you guys, I want to say thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys click that uh, subscriber button if you haven't already done so. And also hit that notification bell just so that you will not miss any of Vlogtober. Until then, remember to take care of yourself and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>